Hello, amazing, wonderful you. Susanna Mittermeier here. <laughs> How are you? How is your world? Um, wow. We just had a class today and... Um, Gosh, I'm so thrilled how these classes are so different every time. I've been doing this for very many years. I lost count. <laughs> um, and it's like every time people join these classes to find out more about themselves and to, uh, to you know, be more of themselves and access more of what they know, uh, it's, there's something magical that gets created. It's, it's incredible. It's like, and, you know, people come from so many different backgrounds you know some of them work with people some people just want to know more about um you know how can i change my life what else is possible for me and every time we have these classes it's something magical that gets created because people get together they ask questions they have a demand for something greater in their world and so you know having done this for so many years and you know i just like counted you know there have been thousands of thousands of people I've been facilitating facilitating all over the world for years now and it's every time so extremely different and the cool thing is that usually when people do classes they come to someone that should like they have the point of view they know more than me they have the answer and what I love is when people come to these classes that are so different and they find out what they know. And it surprises me every time um, how, how you know, people, ins like how to inspire each other. And, and I get inspired by how people see the world in such a different light. And that is something where, you know, if each and every one of us accesses what they know and their unique way of viewing the world, that is something where truly the world moves forward to something greater because it's not about going to someone, you know, sitting down in front of someone. And right now, a lot of it is online and and someone tells you, you know, uh, this is how things work and this is what you should know and this is what you should do. And I have the answers. That's old school. That's so 80s. <laughs> um, you know, what does the future really require? It definitely requires you to allow yourself to know what you know and um, be your own ex expert and when you listen to people who give you answers um, you can always listen to them but always with the filter of what do i know and what's true for me and so um today we had a a class and the cool thing that occurred is once again <laughs> i was so inspired by by the people joining the class it was just incredible. Um, you know, it's like, this is where we contribute to each other. And there was one one woman who uh, was talking about how she's been sick and um, she had this sickness for many, many, many years. And um, so she said that, you know, and it's, it's, it's a disease that, you know, is supposedly very severe and she should have died of it, you know, a long time ago and she hasn't. And so she said that her whole life she was projected that um, this is something really horrible and that she's sick and, you know, there's something wrong with her body. And she said, and that has inspired me so much. She said, I never felt sick. I, I know I've always known and I've not been able to talk about this much because people don't seem to be able to hear this because for them, you know, it's real to be sick. And she said, um, I've always known that I'm an extremely strong person and I don't, I don't feel that there's anything wrong with me and I don't feel like there's anything wrong with my body. And so we had this amazing, really awesome conversation about this different paradigm about disease and sickness, you know, whether it's physical or, you know, what I have worked with a lot as a psychologist is with people who come for, um, you know, psychological things, limitations and difficulties. And we had this amazing conversation where she said, I never felt sick. I am, I don't get this paradigm that there's something wrong with me. And people always expect me to get healthy at some point. And, and I don't understand that. It's like, this is not what this is about. You know, this is again, this old paradigm of someone is sick. They're supposed to be, they're supposed to get healthy as though sickness is a lack 
of health. You know, like the old paradigm is that disease is a lack of health. Wow, is that really true? Or um, what, like, there's so many conclusions and we had this co cool conversation where we said, okay, so what if you find out, and she did this with herself too, which gave her a lot of freedom, like what if every time you think there's something wrong with you or there's a disease, whether it's physical or psychological or whatever it is, what if rather than assuming right away that there's something wrong or you're supposed to get sane or you're supposed to get healthy as though that wrongness or and that disease is a lack of sanity or a lack of health, what if there's a different paradigm available and what if it's time for it now? You know, and this is where we play a lot with pragmatic psychology, where we look at, wait a second, let's not assume that there's something wrong. Let's not assume that there's a disease or a sickness. Let's ask some questions. Let's find out what's really going on. Let's find out what's true. And especially let's find out what's true for the person and what they know and what their bodies know. So there's this amazing paradigm of empowerment that's available for all of us. The only thing that's required is that we let go of the old paradigm of assuming and deciding and concluding and judging. You know, it seems a bit, um, you know, cozy to have labels because it feels like sometimes it's like the satisfaction. Oh, I know what's going on. I understand it. And I have this beautiful box and it has a name and I put it all in there and I'm like, ah. Oh. You know, and initially, and I've done very many neuropsychological testings in, uh, I was working in mental health for, um, you know, for years and, and there I did a lot of, you know, neuropsychological testings where people came and they wanted to know, do I have this, um, diagnosis or this or not at all? And when we did these tests, um, and there was a diagnose result, so to say, you know, initially people would feel relieved. They would go, oh, now I know what's wrong with me. I have an answer for it. I have a name for it. Now I understand why I've always been that different and nobody, you know, could handle me. Oh, you know, and initially they feel relieved. But then it becomes a box. It becomes this limitation where people have decided this is who I am. And this is all I am. And this is where the limitation lies you know and it, there's nothing wrong with labels there's nothing wrong with boxes it's just like is that enough for you is this all you are or who and what else are you and what else is possible for you to discover beyond that and um so with this conversation today with the lady it was really cool how she already discovered for herself that this paradigm of i am sick i'm supposed to get healthy she realized that's not true for me I never, she said, I never saw myself as sick. And I'm like, yes, exactly. Because you do not lack health. You know, nobody lacks health. It's, that is an interesting point of view. It's where the symptoms you have could be a guidance to finding more, finding out more about, hey, what's really going on? What is the power? What is the potency, the potency behind it that is uh, available to be discovered? Because truly, everything is the opposite of what it appears to be. It's like, um, what strongness is behind the wrongness? And I have a gazillion of examples for this. You know, working in mental, mental health with people or afterwards also, now, you know, meeting people with X, X Y, Z diagnosis, whatever. Um, like, what superpowers are behind these so-called incapacities it's incredible you know it's like you just got to be curious enough to look and you got to be willing to ask questions to find out hey what is that thing i call blah 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 diagnose or this and this wrongness or this and this difficulty or this and this disease what is it really and uh treasure box of possibilities that one can discover is incredible. You know, it's incredible. And the people discover the strength in them and the difference in them. And that difference is required right now. It's like, what's right about you, you're not getting. How different are you, you're not willing to be. You know, it's normal to have a problem. It's normal to have a difficulty. It's normal that things are difficult. But is that really your world? 
You know, how much have you created difficulties to be normal? How much have you created struggles so you are kind of like, you know, um, people like you, you know? So what else could you choose? How different would you willing to be? And that is the new paradigm that we're heading towards. And I am thrilled, you know, also working with this new paradigm of pragmatic psychology being, you know, having people like this in a class who say from themselves, I know something different. I know what's true for me. And I'm willing to discover more of that. And, and she said, the lightness in my body is incredible. The lightness in my life is incredible. The moment I acknowledge what's true for me, a new door opens up. And this is what we can be for us. This is where you can have your own back, you know, where, rather than worrying about people judging you or you being too weird or too different or too light, you know, or having having ease when other people don't have ease. This is where your difference comes in. And it's a, an incredible gift to us and the world. So um I'm thrilled to discover more of this. So I have a, you know, I have some free tips and PDFs on um, a page that's called www.pragmaticpractitioner.com. Pragmaticpractitioner.com. So this is where you can get some tips and tools and stuff. Um, and uh, for those of you who have done a foundation class already, there is more of this to facilitate for you. And also, how can I work as a practitioner in a different way? Because, um, you know, I was working with psychotherapy and psychology and I see how I see that the paradigm still is a lot looking at wrongness rather than and assuming, you know, somebody comes to you as a practitioner talking about their problems. What do you, what do most people do? Well, they assume that there's really a problem rather than really, really asking questions about everything, you know, and about, you know, not necessarily delivering the answer but allowing the person you work with to know what they know and facilitating that and facilitating choice so there's a totally different way of working with people uh in your practice and this is something we discover in something that's called a pragmatic practitioner class it's a three-day class you need a prereq for that which is bars and foundation because this is what we use as a platform to to work more and you know the world requires this you know i see this so much in practitioners out there in the world you know you know people who work with bodies people who work with coaching and therapy and however they work with people and you know there's a different way of doing this and now is the time more than ever before and so and there's there's like there's a world of possibilities out there and people keep focusing on the drama on the trauma and they keep you know making reaction real rather than action and if you look at the world right now what's going on you know what's being delivered to us as facts and as norm normality is reaction trauma drama fear that's what people get fed and most people also eat it you know they make it real for them rather than asking, wait a second, is this all there is? Is this all like the menu that's being delivered to me? Is this all there is? Or could I choose something different? Do I really have to react? Is it normal to react? Or could I act? And when you know what you know, and you trust that there's action, and there's action for futures. And this is where our world begins. And there's so much more to discover. So what if we all create a world of possibilities, rather than problems? And, um, well, what I get is we are on our way and we are jumping tracks. So more of that. And also, uh, I'm going to have a class on the June 16th together with Emily Russell about um, being you and being a totally different creature. You don't need any prereqs for that. It's a one day online class that we get to play with also discovering your difference to create a life that works for you. So. Um, what if you practice claiming your difference? How does it start? Way too easy. <laughs> that's the problem. You know, life is way too easy. That's, that's more the problem because most of us are really good at complicated and difficult, but when it's easy and simple, you know, most people go, what do I do with that? You know, no idea. Well, enjoy it, relax and enjoy. So relax and enjoy and ask what is my world? 
what is my world? What is my reality? If I would truly be me in totality, what would I be and what would I choose? And when you ask that question, you don't have to be a good student and already have the answer for it. You can. This is a question that is set up for you to find out and to discover. So take your time with it and relax and enjoy. So thank you for you. Thank you for being different and being the gift to the world that you truly are. <clears throat> Bye.